the Liberal MP who's moving this amendment is saying that uh, he opposes this production order because he wants to stick to the facts. Well, this order would get the facts. The, the, this, this production order, if passed, would produce the documents. I don't imagine there's a lot of editorialization in the documents. Uh, you know, uh, I'm not sure if uh, the prime minister is going to write a cover letter with the documents, putting out some of the uh, some of the, the 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 government spin on it. But the contract itself will be the fact that should speak for itself. And that's the part that's so puzzling here is that they're they're saying there's misinformation out there. Okay, well, what's wrong? Who's wrong? Is the local union rep who said that there were qualified Canadian workers who could fill these jobs but are going to be left in the fold, uh, in the cold, as taxpayer-funded foreign replacement workers come in to fill what should otherwise uh, jobs that should otherwise go to Canadians? Is he wrong? Uh, is the police representative wrong who said that they were asked to prepare for uh, up to 1,600 foreign workers coming in to the Windsor area? Was he wrong? Uh, is the reporter wrong who first cited the number 1,600? Is it closer to 1,200, closer to 2,000? There, there could very well be some details that are being discussed publicly that could be off the mark. So what, what better way to ensure that we're all dealing with facts than to get the contract itself?